Danny has a, about five acres or so behind his house down Lake Elsinore. He's got some dirt hits built there and a couple ramps that we hit. One hit was built a few years back that nobody even looked at for at least a year, right around 200 feet. And uh, finally, Colin Morrison went down there and uh, he's like, we gotta hit this thing. so easily jumping 200 feet off this dirt man-made hit, which is bigger than anybody I know or myself have ever gone off a man-made hit. Since the last movie of going 245 feet to hit my head on the handlebars, I've, of course, wanted to beat that and uh, beat the record as well, which is 251 feet, so I figured put a ramp back behind this takeoff and you might be able to come close to 250 feet on this hit. And I called Colin in and said, Colin, it's time to go bigger. And he was the only one that sacked up enough to come down and hit it with me. I hit it first and, and told him all oh, you could give it in fifth gear, we'll get you there. So he did the same thing and pulled it off. we could go. Where the ramp was set was about 227, 228 feet. And we just couldn't get any more speed for the running that we had. The arms that hold the legs out started bending from us, just the force of us hitting it was just starting to fold the legs into it. So we had to reinforce the ramp and put some other reinforcement carny bars on there to strengthen it up. But I moved it back you know, five to 10 feet from where we were hitting it the day before, thinking that I'd compensated with enough height and steepness on the ramp to make up for the speed I, I lost moving the ramp back.
just the power of, of being on the gas and the whole high speed clip of the whole jump folded my wheels on impact and, and my sprocket and rear disc just dug into the ground and pitched the bike up into a nose wheelie and just kind of ended me all the way down the hill. Broke my femur on impact and then tumbled another 150 feet with a broken leg. That was the end of that day. Yeah.